Well, we're doing double duty today because I gotta I gotta cook and I gotta make some food. There's no one around right now. There's a dog barking off in the distance, but I think this is okay. Um, making some supper at the moment. Of course, wearing the barbecue apron that was sent to me by someone on the channel. Um, yeah, let's talk about Assassin's Creed Shadows. Man, has Ubisoft ever stepped in it with that game? They uh, they turned around and. Uh, there's a petition out there. Last I checked, it was at 81,000 signatures on it from Japan. Uh, it's probably more than that now because that was a couple days ago. But now it's gotten the, the ire of the Japanese political system where their, their House of Commons or whatever, whatever it is down there, they're now talking about Assassin's Creed Shadows, how it's a revisionist nightmare for stuff to do with Japanese culture. And it's absolutely not right. And the, the game is not right at all. And of course, they've done things very differently. They've done, they sit there and they put in Yusuke, or Yus, Yusuke, I believe is the name of it. I can't remember the actual name of it. I've seen it pronounced a couple times now. There's actually a video out there where they did a music video about this and Sweet Baby Inc.'s involvement with everything going on now with Ubisoft. They're even claiming that you that they're in bed with uh, Sweet Baby Inc. now, making fun of this scenario. And you know what? This is something that I link to saying, you know what? We've got Kim Belair with the International Women's Day showing that she worked for Ubisoft on other titles like uh, Valhalla with Assassin's Creed and... There's lots behind that. There's very, very many things behind that. Assassin's Creed Shadows is one of the most uh, apparent things that are now in the video game space. This is a game that's coming out, and it might get it might get uh, censored over in Japan or or taken offline because of things that we are seeing with it. They they may turn around and do what Egypt did with uh, with Cleopatra when they when they didn't do an accurate telling of Cleopatra, the Egyptian government actually sued Netflix over that scenario, and we might see the Japanese government step in against Ubisoft in this case, because it does a disservice to the culture. The culture is what matters, and if you're trying to reach out to the culture and make a video game for said culture, you need to sit there and actually take that into account. And if you're not doing that, then of course you're doing it for virtue signal saying it's a revisionist nightmare. Uh, it's for a modern audience in this sense. And it really is not for a modern audience. I'm going to get some barbecue sauce on these and see, hopefully I can open this up. We're going to get, get this going. It is hot here today. It's like, almost 30 degrees out right now. It feels extremely warm. I'm gonna have to move these forward, turn this down a little bit. This is, this barbecue is, is just going to town. By the way, I really do like barbecuing. This is something I do on the regular. Um, I make supper a lot. I'm just wasting barbecue sauce here because I'm doing this one-handed and I've got the other, the mic and the other one. I guess I could clip it on, but how does that look? Does that look tasty? Hope you guys like that. It's what we see with Assassin's Creed Shadows is just going to be a, a ridiculous game out there in, in the long run where they're now bringing in someone from Africa or in Mbazwe and they're trying to rewrite history and just make it no longer about the Japanese culture, even though the entire scene is about the Japanese culture. And then... Assassin's Creed Shadows, they're so lazy, they got caught using a revisionist uh, retelling of flags and stuff like that from a different group that had their own interpretations and they use their stuff directly. It's a copy and paste nightmare now. Like they're taking things out of the hist out of history books and literally taking the picture, putting it on the screen and then putting it into the game in the background, even though you wouldn't even know that they're actually in there. It, it's not going to be a good game in the long run. I think they've done a lot of shortcutting with the game. Um, and it's just not right. It really is not right with Ubisoft. 
They're lazily putting this together, slapping it together, having a narrative design company and a sensitivity company sit there and tell them that, you know what, they need to do things differently. They have the one girl, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but they have the one girl that, you know, wrote about adolescent boys and Buddhist monks, how they had relations with each other how this was part of the Japanese culture back in that day. With Yasuke, it's all about the the one book that came out, I think it's in 2014, where it was rewriting the entire history of Yasuke into what he is today, where we have the African samurai, where we have the new telling of that scenario. And it's absolutely, it's not right. You know, people want to play a game about Japanese culture and not watch them watch the Japanese culture get completely butchered by a, someone masquerading around as a samurai beheading the Japanese people. That's the worst part of this all is you have an outsider that is in the Japanese culture beheading citizens in Japanese culture. That is one of the worst tellings about this entire scenario. Yeah. He, this is someone that did live this was he a historical figure that meant anything absolutely not he, he got tossed around to this wayside which unfortunately at that time in in history that's where slavery was one of the big things and slaves never got out of the gutter like that it was absolutely ridiculous it's a very horrible time of history we're talking the rewriting of a dictator to something propping someone up that was good in that sense he was a dictator he was not a good person in japanese culture and it's getting propped up that he rose this slave forward trying to give him a better light think of that for a second we have a video game coming out that puts a dictator at the top level saying he was a good person no, he was not a good person. He was an absolute horrible person. And he was a dictator. He, whatever he said happened. So, you know, if anything, he turned around and used Yasuke just to, just to have him as a toy. That's the worst thing of all of this stuff with this scenario. And that's why it's a bad game and why it's not going to do very well in the long run. It'll probably sell well. There's people that are diehard Assassin's Creed um, fans. They'll, they'll buy it, but the game's not going to do as well as, as they hoped. Um, the, you know, I've seen some mixed sales figures, pre-sale figures where it's shot up to the top of the charts. Those can be manipulated easily by someone sitting and, and going, okay, we're just going to pay you to put it at the top of the charts. And we have seen that manipulation with steam sales. We've seen that manipulation throughout all of marketing and it's just a marketing tool. And that's what's everyone's getting sucker punched here. These marketing people that sit there and go, oh, we put it up here on top. Everyone's going to buy it. No, that's not the case. That's not the case. We're seeing things just completely fall flat on their face. And I wouldn't be surprised if this, if this is what makes Ubisoft try and revisit and take a step back away from what's going on with their Assassin's Creed titles. They're now talking that they're going to go back and redo all the original games with the modern audience involved. They, you don't need that. These remakes, they're trying to bulk more money out of people but they're just gonna cost money in the long run. They're gonna cost $200 million to do a remake of something that nobody wanted or nobody needs. And that's why these Assassin's Creed games are just gonna continue going downhill and why Ubisoft is where they are today. Anyway, I'm your product name, Phoenix Sinner Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.